Hello. White pine. Hi, I'm Susan Weed and I'm standing in a white pine tree. Can you kind of see into the needles and see that there's a little whitish shimmer in them? If you were standing right here with me, your eye would be able to pick that up. I don't know if the camera can. We also will notice that the needles on the pines grow in bundles. And in white pine, there are five needles in a bundle. I'll hold it up to the dark of my shirt so that you can see it more easily. W-H-I-T-E, white pine. White pine is one of the most medicinal of the pines, partly because it's the least strong. People are frequently asking me about how to make this plant stronger, and I say, you know, sometimes we don't want the plant to be stronger. Oh, look what I'm getting. I'm getting some sap on my finger. And that's also called pine tar, and I certainly don't want to get that on my clothes. It will make a nasty stain, but it is, of course, the original chewing gum. That pine sap was used by native people to keep their breath sweet, to prevent throat infections, to prevent colds and flus, and to prevent decay and bacteria from growing on their teeth as well. White pine has so many uses. It's a classic anti-cough remedy it's a wound healer, and it's a great source of vitamin C through those long winter months. The white pine is the great tree of peace for the people of the great peaceful nations, and sometimes I say it's the tree of the great mistake, because if the people of the great peaceful nations hadn't taught the white people how to use white pine to get through the winters to have enough vitamin C, we might not be here. Green blessings come in many shapes and forms. Oh, here's Monica Jean. Hi, Monica. Hi, Monica Jean. Hi. We're talking Good about cheers. pine. Pine vinegar sure is good, huh? Yeah, pine, white pine vinegar. Just harvest the needles, stuff a jar full of them, pour mm. apple cider vinegar over it, and then, yum? Super yum. Domestic false we call it. Good to see you. Was it a good dance class? Yes. Good.